saving your sexual t purity until marriage is really all about believing God's best for you and believing the verse that says that he will guide you along the best pathway of your life. He will watch over you, protect you, and advise you. So if you really believe that he really loves you and he's really going to guide you on, along this best path, then why would you want to take any distractions or detours? Mm -hmm. So when I was in the seventh grade, I was 12 years old, I was in this Bible study. And until then, I always believed in um, happily ever afters and fairy tales and one of my dreams was to marry Prince Charming and so <laughs> I believed with God that that was possible and so that night I made the decision to believe what he said about me and that is that I am set apart for good works and we are all set apart and so if we really believe that we are set apart then we will start acting like it and so i made the decision that night to believe it i made a i wrote a letter to him that says dear god i promise i will save my sexual purity until marriage i won't drink until i'm at least 21 i won't smoke <laughs> and i won't do drugs um love Kristen. and i folded the letter and put it in an envelope and i made that commitment and it was a vow and i never turned back now, there's something so important about vows that we make to the Lord because He mm -hmm. honors those vows. How have you seen, Chris, in your marriage been honored by God? Well, I definitely believe because it says in the Bible that when we obey God's commands that our obedience will earn favor and blessing from Him. And I have definitely seen God's favor and blessing in my obedience um, just in letting me meet Chris and saving such an awesome man for me. and orchestrating our incredible love story and even our wedding and everything. And then when it comes to our marriage, our marriage has been incredibly blessed just in its solidarity. Um, but I would caution people to not make your sexual purity or waiting an idol and think that that alone is going to deserve you or earn you like a perfect blessed marriage. Mm -hmm. Too that even if you, if you didn't wait, like Kristen did, then, you know, you, there's always a reset button, you know, yeah. that God always gives us a blank slate to start over again. And, and I actually had that opportunity when Kristen and I were, were dating that, you know, I just had that opportunity to just fully devote myself and that we just made a decision together that we were going to wait. And I feel like it really just blessed the whole process. And, and yeah. when we stood up there that night and we both yeah. said, I do, it just felt so much more special. I can't even explain it. Yeah. So it's so just beautiful. really important for people watching to know that God's mercies are new every morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want you to feel condemned hearing my story. I want you to feel revived and renewed and to have hope because with God, you can make a decision and a vow right now, despite what your past is and make a decision with whoever you're dating that, that this is a vow that you want to make um, to honor God. Because when you honor him, he will honor you. Amen.